Good morning. Welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm headed back to Vientiane. Luckily, we had a very generous subscriber buy me a ticket from Baxe to Vientiane. So I don't need to take the sleeper bus and we'll be there in just one hour. By far the best way to travel if you're coming to Laos and you can manage to do that. You will need to probably pay for your bags, which is going to be extra, but you can get tickets as low as $35 one way. So probably around 60, 70 dollars round trip. Can't beat it. Let's get out of here. Bye, <laughs> Lauda. Bye bye. Bim, bye bye. So, boy. Bye bye. I'll look if I could. So, be. Yup. Bye, P. Kasi kamang. Yum. Sip song. No? Hop, tell a lighter. Oh, Kong Yu Han. Me, Hong Yu Han. Bomi was out, you ain't done. Just brought the bike back if you need a bike. It's right next to Hanahan. Mr. Noise, what's the name of this Mr. Noise bungalow? Okay, it's all connected. I think the bungalow's here. Hey, who and Pak Chow, how do I know? I think it's 80,000 for the bungalows here. Very cheap. Also, the, the bike is 30,000 a day, or if you get it for a couple days, she'll give you a deal for 25,000 a day. Yeah, she said it's very cheap here. Quite like I took long. Ciao, ciao. Cock time and I do it. Everybody keeps saying, Where's all your stuff? <laughs> you, <laughs> just a backpack. That's how you travel, man. Easiest way. Still feel like it's too much. Done. I don't know if I got that in the camera, but just saying goodbye to everybody. Jay's Coffee, the bike shop, Smiling Lao, Adam's Bar, Osa's house. A lot of time hanging out with some very nice people in these places. You have to stop by here. <laughs> That's idea. We made it to Paxe. It's only two o'clock. Somebody. <laughs> we made it to Paxe. I'm a Thai young. I'm a Thai young. I'm a Thai เอาจังนึงเด้อเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเ
หม้อเจ็บหัวนี่เจ็บหัวกันเราขาวเราขาวหัวอ้ากินรถกินรถบูสแซมเขาหาพังอยู่เลยเจ้ากินรถเพื่อมากินมากินบ่บ่บ่บ่บ่กินน้ำต้องขึ้นยนต์บ่ยากบ่ยากเนาะกันยาอะไรกันกินคอยเคยอยู่บ้านคุณนั่งกินข้าวลงคนวันอื่นฟรีรุ่นคนรุ่นเดียวกัน I didn't even have a chance to show you guys any food neither his I knew some chat ที่กันเนาะ I knew some some chat เราสาวเจ็ดบ่เออสามสิบเจ็ดสองสิบเจ็ดสองสิบกินเหล้าเขาอะไรสามสิบเจ็ดสามสิบเจ็ดไม่สามสิบเจ็ดเลยสามสิบเจ็ดอู้ยังนุ่มแล้วเนาะเออเนาะ At Paksay Airport for our VIP trip, our home, Kietinot, and yeah, it's been such an interesting trip back because that gentleman that I shared lunch with said that he'd been coming to eat lunch there every day since his child has been had some lung sickness, uh, but now they're better. Now the son's better, and they're going to be able to head home in a couple of days. So that was. Interesting. The camera wasn't on for that. We were having a meal and a conversation, but I thought I'd share. Then I just came and picked up my ticket, and yeah, gonna go through immigration. And man, how easy it is! If you're looking for a great way to travel in Laos, I would highly recommend looking at tickets because you can get tickets for as low as thirty-five dollars one way, a Lao Airways, and I think round trip like seventy, eighty bucks. So you really can't beat that if you're. If you're trying to see the country, it's definitely a re very reasonable price way to travel. Hey, just boarding the first domestic flight I've ever been on in Lao, uh, which I think is likely to be one of many to come, especially at this rate. So welcome to Lao Airways. Well, if that ain't the way to travel in Lao, an hour or so later, and we're in Vientiane. Changed the game for travel in Lao. If you once you got the funds, that'll be. That makes things really nice if you want to travel south of Lao. Just fly down there. If you book ahead of time, like I was seeing tickets next month, 35 bucks one way. Probably gonna pay 20 bucks for extra luggage or something like that. If you're traveling that way, but if you're smart, if you just got your little, if you just got a backpack, you're ready to go. All right, let's see. Okay. Let's see, where's Louis? <laughs> Louis here to pick me up. I made it. I'm super curious to see if the airfares are as travel friendly during the high season. I would doubt it, but it sure makes it fun for the rainy season. Rainy season is absolutely beautiful, but the rain does make it a little bit more challenging to get around, especially like a little bit more dangerous to take these overnight buses and, and these minivans rather than just Hop on a fly and then you're down there. Sanam bin, Sakon, Watai. Aha! Back in Vientian. Love it. We're walking into the city even on the main road because we can. <laughs> this is loud. But we're back in Vientian. Oh, I love my time on the, the island, but I think I might have stayed a little too long. It sure feels good to be back in Vientiane. But number one thing I've noticed so far in traveling is even though Laos is quiet, there's nothing as quiet as an isolated island. I want to take a little walk in the city. 
I'm gonna make this a lot harder on myself, aren't I, for editing? I need to know exactly what I'm trying to say here. Sorry, Louie's about to pick me up, and then we're headed over to Beverly's place to stay there, take care of all the things I need to do here in VNTN. We'll be here a few days, and then we're off to Luang Paban to help Martin look for accommodation so he can move here. Stay tuned for those videos if you're interested in moving to Lao or you're interested in accommodation. Probably we have some sit down discussions with Martin as to why somebody his age at nearly 70 years old from America would choose to come live in Lao versus let's say Thailand next door or Vietnam or a myriad of places around the world that he could live. Why is he choosing to come live in Lao? I'll get you all that information. Let's see.